I brought you a special sword. What's so special about this sword? Well, this is the best Napoleonic swords ever made. It's an Imperial Guard sword. This would have belonged to a dragoon. What's a dragoon? Mounted artillery. I might call my boss dragoon for now on. <laughs> you dragoon! <laughs> Napoleonic Imperial Sword is a sword used by Napoleon elite regiments. I have many swords and I'm trying to simplify a little bit. I would like to sell the sword today and if I'm able to sell it, I would like to take the proceeds and take my wife for a European vacation. It looks cool. And if I could pull it out? Yeah, go ahead and take it out. So this is an Imperial Guard sword, huh? This is an Imperial Guard sword. The Imperial Guard is one of the most famous forces ever in Europe. You could compare them today to the, our special forces. That's what they were. Yeah, Napoleon, he was known for having his Imperial Guard stand around him. You could, you would always know where he was because you could see the formation of Imperial Guards moving around. And um, I know some of them were so loyal, they even uh, followed him out when he got exiled. Yeah, yes, they did. Mind if I look at it? Yes. So what are these markings right here? What's that say, S and K? That's S and K, it's S and K is the maker. Schnitzler and Kirschbaum. And it was made in Solingen, Germany. So the Germans were actually enemies of Napoleon. So Napoleon's enemies were making his uh, weapons. Yes. Huh? And this sword is very well preserved. The scabbard for the leather for being over 200 years old is very well preserved. Yeah, that's, uh, for 200-year-old leather, it does look uh, pretty well-preserved. I mean, I've seen 100-year-old leather falling apart, cracking. Yes. How much are you looking to get? $5,800. Okay. Um, I would like to have someone come down and take a look at it and see what they have to say. They can talk about the condition and whether or not they think this is a Napoleonic sword. You don't strike me for a liar, but hey, you never know. <laughs> I gotta have my guy come down and, and tell me what this is. Absolutely. All right, give me just a few minutes. I'm gonna make a phone call and see if I can get him down here. Thank you. I am not worried about the expert because I've been collecting Napoleonic swords for many, many years. And I am actually an expert myself. Wow. Yeah, this is what I called you about. That's beautiful. You don't often see the entire scabbard. Right, right, right. You see them cracked or folding yeah. down here, just smashed flat at the end. May I? Yeah. OK. Ah. Uh, so this sword is a cuirassier, or, or a heavy cavalry officer's sword, and it's a presentation sword. This was probably given to somebody after they did something or when they were promoted or something like that. I like the fact that it's got the S and K mark on that. Yeah. And that's the, the maker. And they were a German maker that just made excellent blades. What I would love to have seen on this was the bluing. The bluing. Was the bluing just like a finish or something? Yeah, like gun bluing. Mm -hmm. So it has this beautiful blue sheen that just makes the gold pop out, all the etching and the gold pop out. But this is in beautiful condition. I mean, look at that. I mean, look, look at the way that thing that's fits. That's like a jeweler's fit right there. Yeah. And that's what you want to see. You want to see these, everything fit, no wonkiness, no mm -hmm. looseness. Now, this sword is definitely the real deal. Okay. So, what price would you put on this particular sword? What you have with this one that makes it a really nice piece is you have the complete scabbard in excellent condition. The only thing that I would, I would love to see on this blade better is that bluing on the blade sure. and a little bit less of that rust. So... I'd say maybe 39. All right, well, thank you. All right, thank you. It's a beautiful piece. It's in wonderful condition. And these Napoleonic pieces are some of the most highly collected swords. What do you think um, about 2300? No. This is the best sword that was ever made for, for the Grand Armée. I cannot part for this less than $3,700. I'll tell you what, let's be a couple of dragoons 2700 Can't. Okay, um, 3000 is firm where I can be. I'll do 3300 but it, it, I, I, I don't even feel right doing 3300 I don't want to make you do something you don't want to do, yeah. so if we can't come in a deal for 3000 We cannot. I appreciate cannot. you bringing it no. in. Thank you. It was very cool. Thank you. All right, have a good day. You too. I will put the sword back in my library and display it, and remember my dragoon friend Chumley. Mr. Brown and I got along famously. <laughs> Why he tittled through a pass? I caught the ball myself. He's got a name engraved on it. How did you 
end up with this. Sounds so fun.